Hello my lovelies, it's Bridget Kitley once again and today we're going to be making a beeswax moisturiser. We're going to start off with the beeswax. The beeswax is incredibly hard, this is it. It's like a little piece of rock. And I'm also going to put in 250 ml of almond oil. Almond oil you can get pretty much everywhere. So this beeswax is going to melt with the almond oil over a saucepan of boiling water, which I will go and do in a moment. The next stage is I've got aloe ferox gel. I'm not going to heat this up. This is going to be added at the last stage. This is very calming for the skin. It speeds up your skin cell regeneration. It's very moisturizing for the skin. I'm also adding in 62.5 ml of jojoba oil, which is actually not an oil. It's more of a wax but it's very, very moisturizing for the skin and it sinks in beautifully. Added to that, I'm going to add in 150 ml of rose water, about a teaspoonful of rose pelagonium oil. It's got the greatest smell ever. I think it's one of my favorite essential oils. If you've got lavender or you've got any other essential oil, rosemary, whatever, you can use that as well. That is going to be left until later and now I'm going to go in and melt the beeswax and the almond oil on the stove. Hello, I've just come back from the kitchen. This is now, as you can see, solidified. Now remember I had 30 grams of very hard beeswax. This is why you have to add in the oil to the beeswax to get this kind of congealed oil. Right, now, whilst I'm whisking, so this is going to, it's going to emulsify. So you keep this whisking until you get the consistency that you want. You can see it's starting to come together now. Give it at least sort of five to ten minutes with a stick blender. Okay, so this is emulsified beautifully. Now because I make these creams and I sell them online, I do have pots available that I can decant them into. After you've put the cream into the pot, it's very, very important to bang the pot on the table just to get all the air bubbles out of it. And I use this as a night cream and a moisturizer. And it's really, really, really moisturizing for the skin. Nothing like the stuff you buy for huge, great prices and it makes your skin feel all tight and dry. And this is your final product. So that's all from me today and thanks for watching.